Welcome back to the third episode of Zach's Engine Build. Truck Build. The whole build. You know the build we're talking about. Okay? Good news is, if you've made it to part three, we now got these things in order. Okay? We're back in order now. Now, you can kind of tell from where we're at that we are at the engine shop where Zach is going to perform surgery on this LT block with his Brian Tooley upgrade kit which is camshaft, lifter, springs, just a bunch of stuff. You're going to see, because he's going to do the whole, you know, we're getting rid of the DOD. And that's, we can say that on here. We're getting rid of that. That's legal, we think. Right, Zach? Is it legal? For now, I guess. For now. Until the government decides we can't DOD delete any engines anymore. But anyways, what I'm going to tell you now is that Zach is going to be doing most of this building. Okay, so you're gonna want to watch Zach do all of this, because when he's done with this, it's gonna look real nice. So be sure to subscribe, like, hit the buzzer, buzzer, hit all the buttons around the screen. Just keep hitting them. Okay, share them with your friends if you want. If you got an LT in a 2017 Silverado or a GMC, what is it? Sierra. Sierra. This is for you. This is for you. Okay. Because you're going to want to upgrade this. Now, it's also getting the old, you know, slush box of Matiker in the back. We'll show you that before we put it in. Because this whole video is going to be rebuilding the engine. Well, the upper half. And then back in the truck. And we'll probably do a fourth episode of Let's Make It Run. Okay. Now, Zach has some plans for the top up here, which we're not going to give away until we get it back home. And he may even, you know, give her the old psh, 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 and, uh, you know, make it look more Chevrolet. Okay? So, without further ado, I'm not going to make this intro forever because we got a lot to do in this video. Okay? Rip it apart, put it back together, and back in the truck. So, stay tuned for all of this awesome LT goodness. <laughs> Well, because it, it's that's a toughie. Okay. Oh no! Done? I broke the socket. Oh. <laughs> okay. What time? 15, 16. Oh my God, that was easy. You said it was gonna be hard. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got it yet. <laughs> Hang on, you're I'll go get you're you. You're gonna any. break this bolt. I'll go get you. You're gonna shear that one off. Yes. Yes. Wait. Yeah. Hey. Be, be careful. Let me go get you and see. You're you going to hurt yourself. They are. Uh, I'm trying to think of where my speech is. Yeah, that what? thing just kept on bending around. Oh. Yeah, that was a yeah, yeah we'll, we'll put something more substantial in there. Yeah, I think that's what our problem was. Is I think the bolt was just. Well, that, that'll help. It, it won't cure it, but that'll now, help. That's not going nowhere. That's not going nowhere, huh? You know what you're doing was in the pickup? Uh, yeah. Sit on that back corner. Good? Mm-hmm. Zach? Yeah, I think so. 
if I got it or not. Yeah, you probably did. I don't know. It's picked up. Once it breaks loose, it'll just, it'll spin right out. No, I'm not in. Now it's breaking loose here. <clears throat> you ain't kidding. We learned something new today. Gonna be able to open though. I think we actually oh, got it. Yeah, we got oh, it. Yeah, it'll run out now. Nothing to it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still got to hold it. Okay. Yeah, it's still a little. Okay. Here, it's easier with that one. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> there was no doing that in the pickup. Uh, we didn't find an air reach that we did. You know what we'll probably do it? Milwaukee's new three quarter, three quarter inch drive. Hey, look, look, guys, it came out. Yeah, it just spins right out once you break it loose. Holy crap! So there's no key on the balance. Yes, this one is. And yeah, this one's oh, key. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, this one is key. Okay. Which is helpful for a supercharger. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Who would have thought that? Uh, <laughs> I would have never guessed. <laughs> A million years it was that tight. No. Yeah. to the cam. All this work for a cam. So I'll show you the differences between the DOD lifter and the standard lifters that are in this. So this one right here is the DOD lifter. And basically what happens is oil pressure comes in here and collapses this lifter. So now this cylinder is dead. Where this one here doesn't have that. So this one is just like a standard um, hydraulic roller lifter. So, which is just like what we're putting in the whole engine now. So now this here is the valley tray. And basically there's a plug here and there's some electronics up in here for some solenoids. And what happens is when the engine, you know, when you're like cruising or at an idle or, you know, whatever it decides, it's going to kick it into four cylinder mode. It runs these solenoids, which in turn changes the oil pressure through the top. Um, you can kind of see you know, these little pedestals. We'll, we'll show you when we go to plug them. Um, but 
it puts oil pressure down those, which then collapses this lifter here. There we go. The old camshaft. So. I need to blow it up. And but I don't see the thing. if you look here, so this is the fuel pump. And it actually has three lobes. So unlike your standard, you know, small block or big block Chevrolet, this one has three instead of one lobe. Okay, so as you can see, Zach has basically blown this thing apart. Um, we're not gonna waste your time with scraping. It's because um, if, if you've gotten, if you're doing this, we assume you know how to scrape old gasket material off, okay? So we're just not gonna, you know, bore you with that. So we'll be coming back and we start, you know, put the cam in, doing the phaser adjustment, putting the old plugs in, you know, all that stuff. We'll be back for all that. Well, actually, I probably won't be. It'd probably be just Zach. Because, you know, I don't know. I, I got other stuff I gotta do. You know, just how it goes. But Zach will take you through the steps. Maybe. Maybe. If I remember. Okay, so we're back today, and we have our camshaft here. So I just washed it in some mineral spirits to get all the manufacturing oils and stuff off. So set you up on the tripod out over here, and you know, we'll put the cam in. retards the maximum it can it's going to be running right on what the cam card says I, I'm assuming this is exactly what they wanted yeah so. yeah I, am too, I do too yeah because again when they do the development it's mm -hmm. completely locked out there is no phase adjustment yeah. that if, way they can if tell I was putting this in a small block that didn't have any of this stuff I'd put this cam in four degrees advance of what that card said that's where I would put it We've done that for years and years. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you can order a cam with four degrees advance in it, and you would put it in technically straight up and down, dot to dot, but the cam would truly be four advance. If it wasn't ground that way, I would have a four degree button or change it where it was. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming it's in there exactly where they, they anticipated it. Mm -hmm. That's where the development was. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're good to go. So we think it's where it belongs. Yeah. Educated yeah. guess. Absolutely. Says yes. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Best yeah. educated guess we can make. To make the variable valve timing work, you've got to retard the cam as you go up in RPM to increase higher RPM power in the motor. Mm -hmm. Which is what they're doing. Because uh -huh. if you look at the power curve, it makes peak power. Mm -hmm. I forget. I, can, yeah. I have it pulled up here. So you it's just need to write those numbers down so you know where it's at, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you can, on, on your data, you can say the cam's installed at 105, mm -hmm. but it's going to retard what's on here. Whatever the limiter you put in here is how much it's going to retard. So it's going to retard right back to the 111 it was ground on. Okay. So, I mean, it makes peak power at like 5,900. Yeah. I mean, that's the. Okay. Compared to a stock camshaft. Okay. Or, well, I say a stock camshaft, just okay. a stock DOD yeah. elite camshaft. Yeah, and somewhere around 4,000 RPMs is where it starts pulling it. Pulling, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where it starts backing the camshaft up. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's currently. So we're happy with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If all the theories work out, yeah. So now we should put the head on it. So it's at uh, 105. Yeah. And we're right checking piston valve clamps now. We're not going to take that off. We're just going to. Are we going to put lifters in it though? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. Is that uh, uh, grab two lifters?
so what we're doing here is changing these springs out. See them? These are the green springs, and we want to put the blue springs in. See? These are the green ones, so those are the blue ones. I don't think the paint has anything to do with it, but I just figured I'd say that. It's fun. Um, but we do have to change out the springs. So that's what I'm doing. I guess Zach's going to, you know, set you up over here so you can fall over and break the screen again because that always seems to happen here. Time has come. Actually, the time has long come. We need to get this motor back in this back in this truck, so we can start connecting stuff, you know, making stuff happen. But the last thing we got to do is we have got to change out the torque converters. You know that magical device between your engine and transmission that spins real fast and somehow magically makes your car move. That thing. So, I'm gonna pull out this one because it's stock. And you know, these go about 100, 110,000. They're pretty much toast. Um, so, Zach just don't want to chance it. And I mean, granted, the only thing only has 10,000 miles on it. And you know, it'll be another 25 years before it has 100,000 miles on it. But um, we're gonna go ahead and just swap it out anyway. So, um, and it, plus, it'll work better for what he, his needs are gonna be down the future. So he went ahead and ordered himself a new one. It's a, um, I believe it is a uh, Circle D. Special piece. It's right down there in that box. It's yeah, it's like FedEx. Right um, Circle D. That's it. Converter. Um, so let me pull out this one, and then uh, I'll let him put them side by each so you can see the difference, and then I'm going to slide that sucker in here. You didn't find nothing. You just be quiet. <laughs> It's a wrong angle. It's a wrong angle for lifting. There goes that. You don't have to do something to that camera. Okay, so here's the new one next to the old one. And basically from the top they look the same. You know, but this one here is all billet underneath. And this one is also set up for a six bolt, where this one here is only three bolt. I'd flip it up, but you know, I don't want to get automatic transmission fluid all the floor, so. Yes. Yeah, that one's basically built for um, towing and supercharger. Superchargers and more horsepowers and, and all that. And it's also pretty expensive, and uh, but it's custom built for the truck. And you, you can basically tell because it. It says my name. There you go, right there. It says his name. So you know it's gotta be right. So, but I guess Zach's gonna put a little bit of fluid in that sucker and uh, I'm gonna throw that thing in and then we're gonna put the um, put the old um, forky pig on the engine and just whoosh, right in the hole. Let's get it bolted up and then from there Zach can just kind of putz it getting the wiring laid back in and getting that done.
feel better that it's made oil course, you know what I mean? Yes. Just because it's, you know, a lot of money you are spending. Uh, questions are you ready? Gas the muffler. Yeah. That scared the poops out of me. That <laughs> scared me too. I shut the ignition off. Oof. Can I see the car break down? Yeah. <laughs> Shit that's burning off the headers and all that other bullshit. I'm gonna turn the fan on. Sounds good. Yeah, you should have been right here. I was turning the key over at the back. Yeah, I wonder if there's a hole in the muffler as, as, as loud as that thing blew up. No, I don't think so. I mean, she exploded. It was like, boom! In here. The old heart. Yeah. The old heart. Butter. It's a little ticker ticker. I thought I had a heart attack. Guess what time it is? I don't know, what time is it? Action! <laughs> Sorry, Zach never does action. I don't get it, he's just not an action guy. Uh, but anyways, we are finally to the point. Zach's truck, I mean, you guys heard it fire up earlier, you know, when it blew the, you know, Y pipe off the freaking thing because we overloaded it with fuel trying to get the oil primed up. Um, but anyways, back to uh, where we're at. So we buttoned up everything. And it's time to take it out for a drive. Or Zach's gonna take it out for a drive. And uh, so we're gonna do a cold start on it um, from, from uh, overnight, obviously. But I'm gonna give you a quick little tool around and uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up. Zach's gonna take it down the road and, and that's it. I, I think this truck's pretty well done. I mean, Zach has some other trickery he's gonna do to it later, you know, but I mean, for the most part, I think we've uh, accomplished what you've wanted to do with this truck. Um, you know, we're still gonna wrap the bumpers and stuff but that ain't yes. something that you know that's not really on the youtube side but um biggest thing was getting it lowered and then uh you know getting the motor out and then right back in you know with all of its stuff and uh so um i'm just gonna show you the old uh power bar now as she sits uh we are going to put an aluminum um we're gonna get steve's rear ends to come and weld this up a uh, aluminum you know one of these right here and um and a few other things but here she is it's uh it does have the holly um so low ram intake on it it has a 6.2 um drive-by wire throttle body on it to make it work um obviously it's dod delete it has you know some other trickery and and such and but new valve covers it's got headers. It's got a high flow Wi Fi. Yeah. High flows. 
And, um, but yeah, here she is. So Zach just has to do a little bit more tuning, obviously, for the, you know, this part and stuff. But, um, but Maybe there she is. Put in the comments, you know, if you want to see some of that. I mean, I'm no professional, but if you just want to, you know, maybe see, you know, kind of what I had to do to get this thing to start up, put okay. it down in the comments. Maybe okay. I'll do a video on it. Maybe he'll do a video. Zach is going to a tuning class in April, and uh, we're planning on sending him to a couple other tuning classes, so um, something he may get into, start tuning vehicles responsibly. So, but I guess we'll start off, he'll let it fire it up, and then uh, we'll drive it out and let him take her down the road. Hope she stays together. They should. I'm not concerned. If it starts. take it so we can hear it. would say is a um, successful test drive slash burnout can't believe you did a burnout in your truck Zach it's just ridiculous mm -hmm. but anyways as you saw um, everything went really good um, Zach's got to do a little bit of work on tuning the transmission correct yes that and, little, and hot start cold start and whole hot start little, 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 little hot start cold start stuff so but I mean overall it's it's pretty um, pretty good so there is um that's that's it right that's part three is it three and, yeah, yeah yeah this is part yeah, three, three. Yeah. so this is the end of part three and i don't know i think we're pretty much done with this truck for now so i don't know what project we're gonna hammer on next what we're gonna do next i don't know 
I don't know. We got something. Something. I mean, we got like dozens. Yeah, I really, we got to do front end on my truck real quick, but that probably won't go on YouTube. It might. And then uh, smart car motor, we're probably going to get that apart and get that together and try to get that car finished up and get it sold. So get that out of here. And um, a little bit more on the 55. Oh, yeah, outside body of the 55. That's coming. We're going to do some, um, some, uh, some outside finishing on that. And then I think we can finally get on the wagon, which, um, you know, we'll have the, the motor built for that and start on the disassemble and reassemble of the, the drag wagon. So, I think that's it. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this little series on Zach's truck. Um, it was pretty nice because I didn't have to put any money out for it, which basically I like. So, but cool guys. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Peace out.